Mary was born during the war. Went to a good school and on to university. She liked swimming, dancing. She was going to be married in the summer. Last night, Mary went to bed and left the fire unguarded and she died in the blaze that followed. Tonight, before you go to bed, fire guard your home. Settle and guard open fires. Make sure cigarettes are out and empty ashtrays into a safe container. Switch off electrical appliances and unplug at the sockets. Close all doors. Don't make the same mistake as Mary. Fire is a nightmare. This is the house that Jack built, and this is the fire that burnt the house that Jack built, and these are the curtains, all tattered and torn, that hang by the photograph, all forlorn, of the mother and baby, newly born, that didn't awake the following morn. They died from the smoke that poured through the doors that stood open wide and spread the fire that burnt the house that Jack built. Open doors spread fire and smoke with deadly speed, so at bedtime, close all doors. Well, Kerry, not saying hello to me then? She's not quite herself today. Oh. Show Mrs. Green what you did, love. Oh, how did she do that? Well, it was yesterday evening. We had just a few fireworks for the kids. I thought we were ever so careful, but there's always something you forget to tell them. How did it happen then? It's a sparkler. You wouldn't believe it, would you? I mean, really. It wasn't as though the children were on their own. I was there. I did the lighting, and I took good care they were holding the sparklers properly at arm's length, not dancing around, waving them and poking each other's eyes out. So what did happen then? Well, I ask you. When the sparklers finished, back she goes and tries to pick it up. <whistles> it may look cool, but it's still red hot, isn't it? What a silly girl, then. Make sure your child doesn't start November the 6th like this, or worse. After an attack is over and the all clear has been sounded, arrangements will be made as soon as possible to treat any people who are ill or injured. Listen to your radio. Details will be given about what to do, when to do it, and how. If anyone dies while you are kept in your fallout room, move the body to another room in the house. Label the body with name and address and cover it as tightly as possible in polythene, paper, sheets or blankets. Tie a second card to the covering. The radio will advise you what to do about taking the body away for burial. If, however, you have had a body in the house for more than five days and if it is safe to go outside, then you should bury the body for the time being in a trench or cover it with earth and mark the spot of the burial. Can you imagine being frightened of every friendly animal you meet? Imagine rabies in Britain. All dogs will be leashed and muzzled. Foxes will be destroyed. Wildlife at risk. No animal may be moved in or out of the infected area. All cats will be restrained. Just one animal smuggled in could lead to all this. So if you suspect anyone of smuggling, tell the police. If rabies breaks out, any animal found loose will be seized, taken away, and if it is not claimed, destroyed. Rabies is a killer. We must keep rabies out. This is Sam. 
a man who knows his road safety, always at the alert. Sam knows people get careless when ice cream vans are about. Stop! Phew, that was close. Quickly, Sam's on the spot. He points out the danger. Don't dash across the road. Use a zebra crossing. If there isn't one, stop. Look right, look left, then right again. If all is clear, cross the road. Like Sam, always help one another and never let anything distract you from road safety. Stop! <coughs> that ice cream could have been you. Be like Sam. Help one another and remember, don't dash across the road. This evening, young Billy Blunders has borrowed the keys to the family car. He's looking forward to an exciting night out, and he's got every confidence in his driving ability, which is more than his dad has. What does he mean he's going to put his foot down? I'll show him what putting your foot down means. Stupid. What? Hello. Me Dandros back again. Hold up. Me luck will be in here. Hello, love. Clear off. Oh, well, can't win them all. I know. I wonder what that little Karen's doing tonight. You could meet Billy Blunders on your way home from work. And no matter how well you think you know the road, no matter how sensibly you drive, Billy Blunders could be round the next corner. That's why you should always wear your seatbelt. Even on the shortest trips, beware of the blunders. Clunk, click. Meet Mr. Blunders. Off to work, and as usual, lots on his mind. The sort of chap you could bump into at any time. I don't know how she does it. I mean, how can anyone spend that amount of money? What does she do with it? Must be sending food parcels to her mother. Petrol. Let's get some petrol. Oh, no. I just remembered her mother's coming this weekend. Blooming women, who needs them? Oh, <laughs> do I say. You might meet Mr. Blunders on your way to the shops. And no matter how well you think you know the road, no matter how sensibly you drive, Mr. Blunders could be round the next corner. That's why you should always wear your seatbelt. Even on the shortest trips, beware of the blunders. Clunk, click. Today, Mrs. Blunders is off to the shops. So naturally, she's got a lot on her mind. After all, she mustn't forget anything. What about a nice bit of fish with white sauce? Oh, no, no, we had fish yesterday. Oh, dear. Oh, look, Wilson's have got a sale. <laughs> that reminds me. I, oop, I must phone the vet. Spaghetti with Brussels sprouts. No, no, no I'll, I'll go to the butcher's first. Oh, bother, they're closed. Well, it'll just have to be fish. You'll never notice. You might meet Mrs. Blunders driving down the high street. And no matter how well you think you know the road, no matter how sensibly you drive, Mrs. Blunders could be round the next corner. That's why you should always wear your seatbelt. Even on the shortest trips, beware of the blunders. Clunk, click. This sign does not mean that you will encounter flying motorcycles. No, this sign indicates a street down which it is illegal to drive a motor vehicle or you may be liable to a fine. <laughs> <laughs> 